YouTube, Dan Art here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a scrolling background, otherwise known as parallaxing. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. You're going to want to know three things. You're going to want to know four grounds. You're going to want to know midground and background. So, it's three things. Foreground, midground, and background. The foreground is the most closest things like poles or something, like a pole passing by. That would usually have a motion blur or for scenes in the woods, it would be like a tree. So stuff like that, that would be in the foreground and that moves the fastest and the slowest movement is in the background and the midground is faster than the background but slower than the foreground N now to demonstrate this for you i am going to draw out a demonstration of where the foreground, midground, and background are, and I'll be right back. Inside lane. Missing exits, glued to the pavement. Between the lines, I'll keep my gaze straight ahead as the last stop flies by. No more waiting for the gun to fire. No more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around once. the assets and now I'm going to be starting to animate the assets so without further ado let's get on with the rest of the video now I'm going to start with the background first and before we start animating actually I want to go to the midground first and I'm going to select the midground lock every single layer except the midground and hold command copy and command V and then press command V on your keyboard 
for Mac. If you are on Windows, then put Control Copy. And now I'm just gonna just mess with this other bush, make it a little bit more closer, maybe a, like that, and then Command V. Just repeat these so it's not all the same and you could move them to look a little different just like that put this one a little farther here we go all right now we're gonna go to the trees and we're just gonna repeat the trees a little bit more go to the foreground press command copy command v and now I'm just gonna move these up. Now I'm just gonna move these to here. All right. Now that I finish that, we're gonna start animating now. Now I'm gonna start off with the background and the background's gonna be really slow since it's gonna be far. And the background is just this little park asset here. And then we're going to go to about 220 and make a keyframe there. Insert a keyframe and move it about uh, off screen. Actually, the end is going to be less, more slow. So it's going to be right there. Alright, now I'm going to turn this into a classic tween, just like that. Do not put in a ease in or ease out, because it doesn't really look good with parallaxing. Now I'm going to go move on to the midground, and I'm going to go to about frame 180 about 180 and right click insert a keyframe and I'm gonna move this like that all right now I'm gonna insert a classic tween this is what it's looking like now. It's looking really nice. And now we're gonna go to the foreground, which is gonna be the fastest. So it's gonna be about 85 frames. And that's really fast compared to the other frames. And we're also going at 24 frames per second. And now I'm just gonna move all these trees by. continuously and there we go all right all right so here we go and we're gonna go on this keyframe and this keyframe is the last keyframe and now I'm just gonna make a tween so I'll create a classic tween Right now that the tween is finished, this is how it looks like. Right, so I'm just gonna spread this out. Just put this, these two keyframes like that. Insert keyframe, and there we go. All right, command return. Here's the parallax in here. And I think it looks really nice. And your effect can be the same and even better. All right. All right, so something that I've noticed is the, 
way it moves, how these trees and bushes are still here, it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to show you what I mean. The first part, it looks pretty good and it's looking really nice. But then they, these trees stopped. So I want them to go keep on going and eventually go off screen. So to fix this problem, it just go to your foreground first. And just click on this keyframe and hold down shift and just move it off screen all right now do this for mid ground all right hold shift and there we go all right hit command return and let's see how that looks like It looks way better. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is cut off these last keyframes, except the background, and I'm gonna right click and press remove frames because these frames are not right. Hold down shift, all right. Now you could insert keyframe, and now there we go and we are finished with this you can also add in mountains that'll be way slower than this park object that we have here and it looks really nice and really fluid all right that's the gonna be the end of this video teaching you how to create a looping background otherwise known as parallaxing this is dan art and i'll see you in the next video peace Inside lane, missing exits, including